Hey everyone, so this is my uh, mid-spring garden tour that was requested by my mother. So uh, please bear in mind that it is not very nice. Uh, there are a couple things I want to say before starting the video. The first thing is there are a ton of weeds. I usually deal with the weeds like maybe five times during the summer. Um, I don't spend a lot of time dealing with weeds but I do like to get rid of all of them maybe about five times. What you're gonna see is not one of those times. The other thing is the hose. The hose is in pretty much every shot. Different hose, all tangled up, horrible, ignore it. There are ugly, incredibly ugly spots in this, uh, in this property, in the garden. I don't own this house. There's not a lot I can do about it. I just deal with the garden. Um, and I guess the last thing that I would like to mention before the video begins is there is a truck that was backing up throughout the entire video and I apologize for that. Not sure what exactly is going on because it probably took me 25 or 30 minutes to film this. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of a long time to back a truck up. Anyway, enjoy the video. Okay, so we're outside now, clearly. And um, so this is just the Papa's on chair. I moved it to the back. We're in the back now. Um, a lot of my house plants are outside right now, and some other stuff. But um, we'll get to it. It's a little messy back here right now because things are still disorganized. This is a grouping of the orchids that I still have left. I did a huge uh, purge, let's just call it, of orchids, and these are the ones that I still have left. As you can see. Something happened last summer that affected a lot of the leaves of my or orchids and I just got to a point where they weren't, uh, you know, you can see on this uh, Phalaenopsis, they just weren't making me happy anymore, so I got rid of them. Um, yeah, so we'll avoid the houseplants for now because there's other stuff to talk about right now. Um, so up here in these hanging baskets, this is impatiens. These are uh, like a mix of hot colors. And then this is Thymophila. And it's yet to fill out fully, but it's getting there. And ignore the car in the background. That's not usually here. And then, yes, more impatiens, more Thymophila, more impatiens. For whatever reason, this one isn't growing as fast, probably because it's getting more sun. Here I have just a little basil planter that I made uh, with some of the basil starts. And then here I have some rosemary, which hopefully will come up soon, and some more basil. That's just Thai basil, and then this is like Genovese or something. Up here I have some of these uh, geraniums that are apricot scented from last year. I really like them, so I saved them. This is the uh, sprig of Thai basil that I got from the Vietnamese restaurant uh, probably about five months ago. <laughs> um, in behind, there's nothing actually in there yet, but in behind I have some coleus. Those will probably come into play a little bit later on in the summer. And then over here are just a selection of petunia cuttings that I've taken of the petunias that I uh, either grew in the case of the yellow. And there are some red ones in here that I grew myself as well. Um, but then these are just ones that I purchased. And then this is a uh, million bells that I also purchased. And over there are just the dragon fruit seedlings. And then down here, this is calendula that I grew from seed and it's got some seeds of its own on it. And then this is just some coleus that I saved from last year, the same stuff that was in the tray. Over here on this step, we have, this is just a coleus that I grew from seed. And then down here is another coleus and then this is Dusty Miller that I grew from seed. And I started that rel relatively late. And then underneath here you can see this is uh, Dichondra Silver Falls that I started from seed as well. And it's pretty much the same deal with the next one down. The only difference is I have this millet in here. And Dichondra Silver, Silver Falls and Dusty Miller and a little coleus as well. So we'll see how these develop. I'm not. I feel like this one appears a little crowded, so we might do something about that, but these guys are just going to be for mostly for fall, I would say, so uh, they don't look like much right now, but 
the heat of the summer will do them wonders. Uh, down here, I just have some more calendula and uh, petunia that I stuck in there. And you know, the calendulas, like these are all started from seed. Um, the calendulas are not looking great yet, but we will get there, I'm sure. Calendula are extremely resilient and it looks like there's a flower bud. So we'll see what those turn out to be. Um, down here, I just have some of the ornamental peppers that I planted from seed that I didn't even really realize that I had the seed still, but it was, um, it was in a pot that I had used for the foil plants last year, and I just saw that there were some seeds in there, pulled them out, planted them. This is what you get, I guess. So we'll see if they actually turn out at all close to what their original plants looked like. Um, over here I just have um, two heathers. This one was the one that was given to me by a close family friend. And this is the heather that I purchased because I wanted to have another heather. Uh, I still haven't found a very good spot for them. But, uh, yes, eventually. Somewhere will come up and it'll look good. And just over here are two quinces. Hard to see. Two quinces and the little holly that was also given to me by the same friend. Okay, so this is a weird area to film because it's bright over here, sunny, and not sunny over here. But it's okay because you can't see the weeds over here, so that's great. Um, these are all begonias that I started from tubers, and they're looking okay. Uh, this down here is liatris, and there's a nice big tuft of it. And uh, I planted those the first year we lived here. Not here, but in a different spot, and I moved them. And then we've got some pansies along here, which you can't see. Here is a clematis that I strung up just to make sure that it climbed on something. And then over here we've got a smattering of different things. This here is a hollyhock. And then some coleus, I threw that in the ground. For whatever reason it's not doing very well, but whatever. And then these hostas always come up and they're super annoying, to be honest. <laughs> um, over here, uh, this is really hard to see, but there's a grape right here, grapevine. It looks like the neighbors did some weed whacking on their side of the fence, so there might be some stuff that's a little screwed up here. Over here are some walking onions, and some chives, and some of the other things that I decided to plant. Like these are some um, verbena, bonariensis, and then back there are some more calendula, and these are the night scented stock. There's a whole smattering of different things in here, but um, I'm not super happy with how the ceilings turned out. They turned out quite weak. Um, it's also really windy right now, as mentioned. But uh, yeah, the ceilings turned out pretty weakly, so we'll see what happens. And hopefully that works out. All right, so over here, this is just a Rose of Sharon that I overwintered just outside. And this guy's not looking too good right now, but he's, uh, he's, uh, yucca. There are two of them in there, actually. I just stuck them in here because I didn't know what else to do with them. They were in the garden originally, but I didn't like it. Um, then we've got up here some petunias. These I didn't grow from seed, I purchased these. And then there are some that I also grew from seed in here. So those are some yellow ones, I think. Um, these are some guavas that look terrible right now, but will eventually start to look good, hopefully. <laughs> uh, you know, like the summer tends to do some, some good stuff to plants, so hopefully by the end of the summer they'll be nice and lush again. Um, here is the fig tree, and it's looking good. It got a little bit burned by the sun when I brought it out originally, but it's starting to come back in a really nice way. Then apple tree, apple tree, apple tree, apple tree. Don't know what I'm doing with those. I think I've talked about this in a previous video before, but uh, those are the compost seed apples. And uh, yeah, not sure what to do with those, so here they are. Um, I also started two locust, actually three locust trees from seed, just for fun. There they are. Uh, this is a catalpa tree that also was started from seed. And then another pot of pansies, or sorry, not pansies, but... Uh, Petunias. Down here are some eggplant starts that I planted 
last week or something. And they're coming along. It's starting to get warm here, so they're starting to like their environment. So, I mean, aside from these and the petunias and the million bells, I, I haven't purchased any other seedlings this year. Here we've got another thing of petunias. They uh, got kind of battered by a rainstorm earlier, so. Okay, so now we're in front. And I thought I'd just show you these pots. So first we've got some pansies in the front and then two of these coral bells. And then the mugo pine from last year and also this uh, arborvitae. And on the other side, we have a similar arrangement of things except instead of a second coral bells, we have this uh, really nice blue hosta, which I was given last year. It still isn't very big, but it's getting there. Next is this weird little area that I've been sort of cultivating a little bit. I made this um, sort of raised bed box. Uh, it's just sitting on the, um, whatever this is called, porch. And here we have some squash, two different types of squash there, another type of squash there. These are all um, like turban type squash, so that's going to be nice. Uh, some petunias, some more calendulas over there, and some um, <laughs> euphorbia that, yeah, it doesn't look very good. But you know, like this is what happens when you start seeds yourself. Like you can't throw them away, so here they are. Um, and then over here we've got some salvia. So these are the lighthouse red salvia. This right here is some more coleus that I grew from seed. All of this was grown from seed except for this dude. And this dude. This is just a canna. It's a pink canna that is clearly not doing very well right now, but that's probably because we had some very cold weather at the beginning of May and things just really haven't bounced back yet. Ignore the weeds. Okay, as far as I'm concerned, this is pretty much where things start getting nice. So over here, some gladioli. I use this uh, tomato cage to keep everything upright, but clearly it's not working very well. It's again, very windy in this area. So there's just a limited number of things you can do about that. And then over here, more petunias. Those are red mostly. And then mostly yellow petunias. And then you can see the uh, pansies, some of which are currently a little wilty looking, these guys. Yeah, it's just uh, hard to keep them watered because they've been out here for about two months and they've got really huge root systems to be honest. So it's hard to keep up with them. And then over here some more pansies and these are the uh, Chrysanthemums from last year. There's one over there too. And then, I'm trying to get around this, but this is, um, well, I can't remember its name right now, but it's red. It's it's very nice. Yarrow, of course. Another chrysanthemum right here. I'm trying to get out of the way of that. And then underneath the climbing rose, which is right here, the uh, pansies continue. Over here, some things that I overwintered were uh, some uh, passion fruit that are, I'm trying to get them to climb up onto the porch, but uh, they did last year, they will this year, it's early days. Uh, over here I have a tomato and a physalis peruviana, so that's also known as a ground cherry. It's quite windy. Um, ground cherries are supposed to be really good, but they can be really, really bad too <laughs> if they're not grown properly. And that's what I did last year. So we're gonna try and do it properly this year. Uh, over here is the that is the uh, magnolia that I planted last year in the ground. Here it looks okay. We're just gonna ignore most of it for now. Uh, although, this uh, Sarah Bernhard peony is starting to look really nice. And so is the other peony, really. It's um, quite large, as you can tell. Um, here's just one of my hot peppers. This is the Seven Pot Bubblegum Peach. Some more petunias and million bells. 
that I also grew myself. Uh, here is APS uh, ghost pepper, and this is an orange one. And that's Atlantic pepper seeds. And then here, shabu shabu pepper. And then seven pot Carolina Reaper. And this is the long red one. It doesn't really like the wind very much, but it's coming along. And then here is the Fatale uh, yellow. And then this is the white boot Jalokia. Um, just really briefly, this right here, and there are a couple of other ones. So there's one there, and then there's one there, and then there's one in the back there. Those are all um, Datura Inoxia. And last year I grew Datura Metal. So we're gonna give this one a try this year because I didn't really like the one last year. Hopefully it'll grow up nice and big though, still. Uh, then finally, over here is the Brugmansia. And it's just starting to leaf out, as you can tell. Because um, we had a frost and it didn't like that. Uh, we'll just ignore all of the bullshit that's happening over here. <laughs> uh, these guys are looking and smelling wonderful though. So just to show you the last area, this is a window box that I purchased. Sorry about the overblownness, it's just hard to get this area. Um, so what we've got here are some gladioli that I planted in the ground here. Some million bells, these I did not start from seed myself. Some kind of weak looking um, black eyed Susan vines. Here is a canna that also looks pretty crap right now. Some more black eyed Susan, this one looks a little bit nicer. And then more gladiolus, more canna, and then this, which you can't currently see, just a second. This right here, I think, is an ornamental corn, so that'll be interesting. <laughs> a very weird assortment of things in here. All right, that's my video. Thanks for watching.